Well, I had been doing some debate back and forth for what I was going to do for my video topic for this week, but then something kind of semi-forced my hand. As of this recording, it is uh, September 1st, 2023, and just recently, the announcement has come out that SAG-AFTRA is preparing to authorize a strike against the video game industry. This is basically seeking um, to get the same provisions that they've and protections um, financially that they've been wanting from the motion picture industry. In addition to uh, not just in terms of full financial protection, but also protections against AI and also um, additional protections for uh, breaks so that actors, voice actors can preserve their voices and additional information, uh, just other safety protections and that sort of thing, on-set medics for um, mocap and forbidding and requiring stunts during um, self-taped editions. You know, all reasonable concerns. Um, so in the event of a strike, well, the, obviously they are not going to announce their provisions in advance in terms of what they'd like people to do or not do in terms of solidarity. Um, I will say, first, as a member of a union for, for my day job, and also as someone who acknowledges and respects the work that actors do in their craft in film, television, and video game voice acting. Um, I stand behind SAG after this, after this regard. If this means I ultimately end up having to pay more in games, that's fine. In response to the argument of whether, well, why aren't um, game developers getting residuals? They should be. Um, bonuses and benefits based on the work they do should not be, and how well a game sales should not be limited and restricted behind a Metacritic ranking. Um, Obsidian should have gotten bonuses based on bonuses for for Fallout New Vegas that get that was game was good. So. With all of this in mind, um, again, I stand with the union. If they strike, I I have a fairly substantial backlog. I can if, if they if I strike and they request a book or uh, I ask people to boycott new games in solidarity, I can stand to do a boycott. I can stand to not buy any new games for a while. Um, my backlog is very substantial. Um, as far as, um, if they ask people to not stream and that's, or do let's plays or that sort of thing in solidarity, um, I record my videos quite for the let's play on my other channel link is up on the actual channel page itself. Um, and I should have the, uh, yeah. So those are um, those are fine um, for now. For now, and Deal It Wonder Deal it Labyrinth has no voice acting, so that's not necessarily going to be an issue. Uh, as far as other games go, like some of the games in my backlog, honestly, also don't have voice acting at all anyway. So that's something that I can that I'm okay with doing. Um, also like with the N64, I um, mean, Charles Martinet's voice acting is present in Mario 64 and other Mario games, but otherwise there's not a lot of actual voice acting on the N64 games that I cover in Nintendo Power Retrospectives. So that's going to be fine. And that is, that is an act, Nintendo Power Retrospective is a straight act of games criticism. So also like if you just subscribe to this channel and this channel alone, this is going to be less of an issue. If um, 
subscribe to the Let's Play channel, this may end up like being a gap after the Little Wonder Labyrinth, depending on what their provisions are. Like, I'm still going to play video games on my own time, and I'll try to capture, game, capture gameplay footage of it. And what I might end up doing is taking some of that and turning them into video reviews for this channel. But I won't necessarily be live streaming it. This also means that I could probably be capturing gameplay footage while watching, like listening to records or that sort of thing, which is something I can't do for the live streams because, oh boy, would content ID hate that. Uh, but anyway, that's where things stand for um, gameplay footage and for um, content on this channel. Uh, but yeah, like, what is covered, I'm covering at Nintendo Power Perspective, a large chunk of it. If we're going by limitations on games that have voice acting. There's a fair amount of probably unstruck work. Both in the sense of either there's not voice acting, or if there are digitized speech samples, they're not, like, they're provided by, st done by staff of the studio. It's get Bob from account. It's the grunts from Doom are Bob from accounting in a clo recording in a closet. I said it probably would have been accounting because this is Doom, so it would probably actually be the grunts in Doom are, I don't know, John Romero grunting in a closet. That sounds bad. I, I didn't mean it that way. I apologize to John Romero. But in any case, that's where we are, where I am, we slash we are, as far as we, the audience included. With plans for upcoming videos, this video will also go up on the Nintendo, on the um, Count Zero Plays channel, in case you miss it here. So, or miss it on the primary channel, etc., etc., etc. But in the meantime, again, uh, I stand with, with SAG AFTRA because the acting performances matter. And that's where I'm at on this. If this means that like I have to hold off on doing a stream of, I don't know, Alan Wake for um, October or what have you, or whenever, um, I can live with that. So that's where we're at there. This is also kind of for the benefit of uh, Patreon backers, patreon.com slash count zero OR, um, that in the event of the strike, once the Winter Lambert is done, um, depending on the strike guidance, again, we may have a break from videos. I might also, like, again, I might do, um, like, if guidance is permission, for the, permissible for this sort of thing, I might go for the, um, I haven't finished my, Curse of the Azure Bonds Let's Play. And that is completely voice acting free. And so I might do that. And finish that joint in progress kind of thing. In the meantime, catch you all later. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.